Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, and do you remember when Yahoo was actually relevant? Well, back in the day, there was actually a Yahoo magazine licensed by Ziffy Davis. The only reason I know about Ziffy Davis is because they brought, bought out my favorite uh, video game magazine, EGM, Electronic Gaming Monthly. And man, I thought this was a great idea. Jeez, I mean, back in the day, when everyone was getting on the internet, uh, at our local school, you either went with Yahoo Mail or you went with Hotmail. And I thought, oh man, this is a great way that uh, we can see the internet and what's going on around it. But as I opened it up, as I turned the pages, I realized very quickly that uh, that in fact was not what was going on here. And there was nothing about the internet chat groups going on. They even talked about chat rooms, but they never talked about, uh, sorry, the Yahoo chat rooms. Yahoo chat rooms were very important to me back in the day. Uh, I went there for the anime, for the video games, and for the computers, mostly for the anime. But man, check out these prices. Check out these prices of the old systems of Gateway. I wonder if Gate. I think this was when Gateway was actually a good brand, but these days it definitely isn't. So 1,600 bucks will get you Pentium 3 uh, with 128 megabytes SD RAM. And these are, of course, from 99, October 99. Once again, I remember seeing these on the shelves. I looked through them, disappointed. They didn't actually seem to reflect anything going on with Yahoo. Uh, but this wasn't actually about Yahoo. This was just about internet life. So back in the day, internet life definitely wasn't very glamorous. It's interesting to see what you run into. VW, I can see why they'd advertise that. Oh, frick, I hate those printers. And yeah, remember those crazy old ads from the 90s? There was a particular kind of craziness from the ads in the 90s you just don't get today. Yep, definitely. Crazy pictures in these magazines. One of the worst parts about magazines is they just stay, stay around forever, right? It's like, do you ever actually use them? Do you get the information off of them? Can you just go on the internet? Oh my goodness, look at all these advertisements. This is such a 90s magazine issue. I hate it when they do this. How many articles have we gotten so far? Oh, Crown Royal. Jeez, I got some Crown Royal right now. It's a good idea. All right, well, mine, not, mine might not have a beer cozy. I don't think it really needs it. I guess his makes him a better human being than, oh, wait, wait. Mine has maple syrup. That's what I'm talking about, Bobby. Check this chalice out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Anyways, proceeding with some Crown Royal. Oh my goodness, could you believe doing that these days? About 52 people died in one year from taking selfies in this stupid position. He is in a stupid position, but he's not taking selfies. But geez, just the idea that you would still have, this is digital, camcorder, digital. Yeah, geez, I guess it actually does save everything right on there on a hard drive. Oh my goodness, I want to do that. Guys, can we do this? I need. I wonder if they did that just for this uh, advertisement. Yeah, anyways, let's keep Interestingly enough, the back chat section reads just like an online forum where everybody complains about the goods or services provided by any given website. And then right about here, people are complaining about uh, black people complaining about not enough black people being represented. Uh, yeah, complaints about what's been given, complaints about previous complaints. Yeah, just uh, the internet. Maybe this thing was more like the internet than I realized at the time. That's what I'm talking about, Bobby. More advertisements. Thank God, more advertisements. Well, at least since we have these advertisements, it should make things nice and cheap, right? Right? What's that? $4.99 Canada. Well, that's not so bad. I guess that's about the price of a comic book at the time, plus a little bit. The Blair Witch, y'all remember that fun stuff? There is no Bill of Rights on the internet. Remember the, when the internet was basically like the Wild West? And nothing changed for the longest time. But now we have rules, and yep, I'm going to get a truck. This has nothing to do with the internet. You can shop for stuff on the internet, but it's basically saying, look at this stuff you can get on the internet. Well, what else are you going to be putting in a magazine? They must have had to really bend their brains in three different ways. Why K3 compliant? Remember when the chip was a new thing, and we were all really shocked by it, and we're like, oh, and suddenly we get sent chips in our cards, and all of a sudden everyone's super happy with it. Honestly, this is one that I didn't read through totally before I started to say, yep, I, I I want that. Yep. So what I did was I went through here and I marked off the stuff that I liked and I wanted to talk about. I was going to do a particular uh, method of doing this, but I thought, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it live. Let's do it live. The web toppers, the top websites, Yahoo. Number one, msn2aol.com3. As soon as I saw that, I was like, are they ever actually going to change that? Where's the buzz? CNN.com, Communist News Network. That's what my southern friends call it. Downloads, top downloads. Man, Godzilla. I remember having that and using it 
and then like reinstalling everything on my system and then never again the chats okay so yahoo had a chat and here they're oh this one is actually about yahoo chat sorry i was reading another one it was about aol 98 degrees remember everything britney spears Drrr. come to me britney all of that good stuff the questions from askjeeves.com remember when ask jeeves was a thing you could ask jeeves absolutely anything and then it's as if everyone just realized simultaneously you can do the same thing with Yahoo. Who am I? Who are you? Is Ricky Martin gay? Oh, man, could you even put that in a magazine these days? Is Ricky Martin gay? It's like, it, it doesn't matter. And of course it doesn't matter. But you can't ask those questions these days. Where can I find someone on the internet? People searching for people. The Kelly Blue, all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm going to go to the internet and figure out who I am right now. Be right Geez, you know, in this day and age, I don't even have to do that. Hey, Google, who am I? I couldn't verify your voice, so I can't help with that. You uh -oh. can try again, or check the voice match settings in the Google Home app. Nope. All right, so I checked the text-based internet, and that was no help at all. Auction items. The three items getting the highest bids is a three-bedroom home in Winchester for 50000 That's got to be U.S. Uh, sailboat Mercedes limousines i bet the top ranking thing would be a lot more than that these days seriously do we even see cigarette advertisements anymore are you allowed to do that i know in canada you definitely aren't do you remember back in the day the good old days the good old times when we all had to do stuff like that man yep it happens it's just how we do it's just how oh thank god more computer advertisements it's interesting they're all advertising computers but Egg spam, spam, and spam. We're complaining back here. Oh, yeah, check this out. According to the recent study, 90% of uh, surfers are spammed on a weekly basis. On a weekly basis. Man, remember back in the day when you only needed to worry about getting spammed on a weekly basis? Web dating. Oh, yeah. I did some web dating on Yahoo Chat. On the net, you never know for sure who is real and who is lurking behind a digital mask. That's not the fun of uh, the internet, lurking behind a digital mask. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Not supposed to be, but it is. It is. You just you get to look around and be forgotten. That's Isn't that how life is a little bit? Sometimes you just go somewhere and you don't want to be remembered. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Check this out. I wonder if anyone actually seen this advertisement in here is like, I'm going to call these guys up and get this. The ultimate search engine. Take a guided tour of the heavens at the push of a button. With the, the Miade ETX90EC Astro Telescope. That would be pretty cool. I mean, automatically, you'd have to have that thing calibrated to wherever you were, right? Not to wherever. Yeah, it would have to be. Check this out. we got some crazy speakers. These are all speakers of different kinds. They look very modern. Uh, but the color design, definitely very... Wait, wait. Was that a CRT TV? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Those things are heavy. Man, talking about heavy, last time I had to move a giant CRT monitor, I got a uh, scratch. This is, this is an actual scratch I got here from working on some, uh, oh, in my tech room. Anything metal will cut you, it's just how it goes. To swear off guns, kids log on. Yeah, yeah, that battle's going to be going on for a wee bit, right? And everybody knows the cat on the monitor. Kitty cat loves the monitor. What can I say? Could you imagine? That would suck. That would mess with my mind if I just started the fire and just burned all my hair and my flesh off. Oh my goodness, check this out. Do you guys remember when? That was so awesome. When Sony did You wouldn't think that Sony would make a camera that would actually use a 3.5 disc. Not that easy. It couldn't be that easy. You'd have to get uh, their own Sony BS plug-in $800 uh, custom memory that only they make, right? And that's just how it goes. I keep seeing this guy, and thing is Jeffrey Epstein, who, by the way, did not kill himself, but actually was murdered so that we could hide the uh, awesome things that uh, Prince Rupert and uh, Bill Clinton did with that uh, pedo, who definitely did not kill himself. Uh, I still remember that advertisement particularly. Oh, yeah, everyone's advertising razor blades. That never changes. You see those online all the time? Once again, never changes. You fix it. Man, I wish I was a plumber. What can I say about that? Beans. I only heard about beans just recently. It was basically an idea like PayPal. Imagine getting gifts every day. Well, that's the idea behind beans. You, you get beans just for visiting different websites. It didn't last very long. I wonder if it's going to be like Bitcoin, except people actually buy Bitcoin. I don't think anyone actually bought beans or sold beans or... If anything happened with that, what can I say? 
Oh, check this chick out. Yeah, this is the chick that was uh, talking about what was on the front page. This is definitely one of those situations where you see something going on on the front page and you think it's going to be one thing and then you open it up and it turns out to be a completely different thing. And you're like, why did I buy this magazine? You should have just read it in chapters. But that's just how she goes. You know what? I'm going to cut away and get to when I actually get something interesting. Oh, in this news, Wall Street gets wired. Check that out. Wall Street actually gets connected to the internet and people can make trades online. My goodness. Five new solutions. Remember back in the day when Norton was a big deal? When programming was like that, like this, was just part of, was just part of the idea of going out. Um, kids, there's actually there are very few people that aren't from our time, but I find our time to definitely be a time where a thing to do would be to go out and go shopping. You didn't hang out with your friends, you didn't uh, go to the arcade, or you could choose to go shopping as opposed to go with your friends, go to the arcades. These days, you can get this stuff online. But back in the day, with the sh with the whole shopping thing where I think it was a bit after World War II, people had more money, shops were starting to open, and uh, consumerism was becoming a huge thing. This seemed to be on the tail end of that before the internet took over. Now you can just get your stuff online anywhere, anytime, right? Norton System Works. You went out and you got this stuff, and you're like, this is helping my computer, when actually it probably made your computer a little bit slower. System Works, antivirus, utilities, clean street sweep, crash guard. Remember when there was people using Ghost? Is that Norton Ghost? Oh yeah, check that out. I want to do that. I definitely want to do that. That's how that's how true men party hard. When it's time to party, we always party hard. Right, ladies and gentlemen? Right, you are here. Santa Claus, that's what I'm talking about. I'll see you soon, St. Nick. It's almost uh, December 30th. Next up, we got David Bowie. And before you go any further, I want to mention these flasks. What the heck is up with that? It seemed to be a big thing in the 90s. Actually, that one doesn't have it. It's like... Did they just make one page for everyone and send it to everyone and then, oh, we'll put this extra flap on there if you're in this particular country. You may never buy a CD again. You will never need to know about free music online. All you need to know about free music online. Oh my God, these guys are training us to be pirates. Yeah, David Bowie, sexy as heck, right? I like his music and some people kind of worship him for some reason. Apparently is a movie. I never really got into that. I would love to take that sucker apart. That's beautiful. Oh, guys, this is making me really want to go out there and get a Pentium 3. Check out those colors. It's so 90s. It's so vibrant and futuristic. I wonder if it's Y2K compliant. Once again, lots of advertisements. Half-naked chicks. Who doesn't like half-naked chicks? Even half-naked chicks like half-naked chicks. I mean, if you take a look at any chicks magazine, you're going to see a lot of half-naked chicks in there. I swear to God, chicks like half-naked chicks. Even half-naked chicks like half-naked chicks. You remember the zip drive? Hello, cruel world. Oh, oh, it hits the nail right on the head. And if you don't know why, it's because these zip drives, which gave a huge amount of storage, were actually known to destroy the data that they were on because of a run-out issue, I believe it was. You, get it, you slap that device in, there's something that moves the CDs to read it, and it makes it wobble. And it formats the unit. Ah, oh, hello, cruel world. You know, I might have to actually frame that. It, it destroyed the information that was on the disk. So if you had a unit, there, there'd be people calling into call centers who are like, oh, my unit's making this weird noise. I tried all my disks on it, and it just keeps making this weird noise. The weird noise it was making was actually destroying your disks unfortunately yeah so up here we got idsn does anyone around here even remember what idsn was i bypassed that completely here in my uh back in the day back in the time what the heck is a handheld pc this is something that i thought i'd actually get my hands on but i never actually did windows ce the dreamcast had windows ce and what it seems to be is just a, a launching point more or less for people to make programs within a windows operating system that won't uh for a machine that won't actually use windows uh the way that you would commonly use windows i love the old technology in here now actually this video is probably not going to get much views well qualcomm actually made its own phones that's nice. I'll tell you what, Bobby. Qualcomm made his own phones. Oh, the eye tracker. I remember when Sony and people came out with things like that, but you never heard of anyone actually using them. And I, uh, let me eye track completely ignores mom's warning, sit in the closet and close to the TV. Yeah, okay. Very nice, very nice. Look at all these consumers. They have all the things. They have all the nice things and they love them so much. It's consumerism is what I'm talking about. Ooh, check out this uh, fold out this fold out uh, laptop doggy thingy my bobber i wonder if that would actually warm the thing up why don't we do this why don't we do that more consumerism am i right actually i guess these days because you don't even need this stuff you put that in your pocket you put that in your pocket this stuff doesn't exist so much that's going to be in your 
uh, 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 wallet and whatever. Pagers. Does anybody use pagers anymore? Can you get a pager if you need to, like new? Geez, check this out. Check this computer stand out. I would love to have this kind of thing, but it's also the kind of thing that if you need to move it, you're toast. You're done. Uh, I knew a person that had something like this that had to get out of their apartment and couldn't move it, so they had it on the side of the road for about a week, and then it disappeared for about a month, and then it arrived on the side of the road in another part of town. And on the side of the road means you were giving it away. Oh my goodness. The massacre. Touched by the internet. They always have articles like this, and Honestly, I think I skipped past that. It's about the Dearth Pan Holocaust. I'm going to have to do more research upon that later on. There's definitely a lot going on online that we'd never figure out. Unless we got online. I should say there's a lot going on in the real world we'd never figure out if we weren't online. Okay, how does the Get Along Gang get together with HP? Seriously, what's going on there? Very good, though. Very good. I didn't know about this until now, but uh, internet time. Internet time is a thing made by Swatch. I don't understand how it works, but you look it up. Uh, you can uh, you can find you can actually set your Windows 10 system to run on Internet Time. One of these days, oh look at that sexy guy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Bobby. The Great MP3 Wars will MP3s kill off CDs? No, MP4s will. I'm just kidding. Uh, will they? Bury. Now, the interesting thing about MP3s, of course, is that they're not as good as CDs for the most part. You can say they're as, as good, but if you got a really good ear, you know that it's actually a lossy format. You got to got OGG or something like that file format if you want to get the lossless one. But uh, MP3s, MP3s didn't destroy the system, but they didn't help it either. They definitely didn't help it. Believe the hype. Believe the hype. Believe it, man. Useful sites. Find a cool top 10 list site, just go to any web page, but particularly go to Yahoo, not Yahoo. Go to YouTube. I think I need more to drink. All right, lastly, let's check out the dog episode. I specifically remember this one being on the shelves. I specifically remember the G3 being around and specifically remember never actually seeing it being used by anyone in my village area. This is an interesting system, used uh, PowerPC chips, meaning it wasn't an x86 compatible IBM uh, PowerPC. Once again, awesome 90s advertisements, advertising cigarettes, pretty sure we can't do that anymore. VW loving to advertise in here, all that fun stuff. More whiskey, that's a good idea. I should and I will. Check this out, actually I have a Lord of the Rings chalice with Gandalf on it. If you do not have a chalice, then this makes me a much better person than you. But as we continue, more advertisement. Thank goodness for all of these advertisements for computers. Back in the day, your computer died all the time. You had cheap capacitors, the things just didn't last, and everything was going so completely fast, madly off in all directions, upgrading so quickly. But now, man, it's like everybody has a computer that they don't use that, uh, that uh, they could particularly use if they wanted to. But everyone wants laptops these days. Nobody wants computers. I'm going to check that out. The first mouse is actually made by wood. There's a lot of prototypes that are made by wood that uh, eventually get made by plastic. For example, Transformers, G.I. Joe, well, Transformers, originally made with wood for prototypes. And that's how she goes. Oh, wait, what is this one about? Team Fortress 2. Hey, Google, when was Team Fortress 2 released? Team Fortress 2's initial release date is October 10th, 2007. So these guys are talking about Team Fortress 2 and how it's take off of Half-Life and you can download it at this location, but I am certain that that's BS. I mean, even Team Fortress 2 Classic. Was it actually out? I mean, am I missing something here? Well, maybe I'll have to be filled in. Actually, I want to talk about this top... Top Gun game. Good stuff, good stuff. I remember when you were flying down so close to the bases, it turned out the bases were generally just flat, and they just looked like they had depth to them when you were looking at them directly. There's Cher. Oh, my babe Cher. Do you believe in life after love? No, no. But I believe in auto-tune, and I know she rocks it. Boogie! Hanson. Gotta love the Hanson. Oh, what's going on today? Okay, the top websites. AOL actually beat out Yahoo. MSN Geo City. You guys remember Angel Fire? Yeah, there it is. Number 12, Angel Fire. Zoom. Blue Mountain Arts. I don't even remember what that was. And on the other side, we get ZiffyDavis.net. Disney Online. I'm all surprised Disney was around back then, but I suppose it had to have been. Top Clubs. Clubs.yahoo.com. I forgot all about that. Hanson was number one. Ultimate Veggie Tales was number eight. Jeez. 
That's interesting. I wonder if that was a quantum universe like the Marvel Universe. Oh, yes. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. The sexy lady. Really the, look at her. She looks so 1970s, not so much 1999. Don't know why they put her in here. Yep, yep. More good stuff. Um, old cell phones. Uh, the fax capabilities from a phone. I haven't seen too many phones that have fax capabilities. 30-inch. TV, 480 line, progressive scanning. Remember when progressive scanning was a thing? I do. And here's basically a webcam for $400. And it has its own 14.4 uh, kilobytes per second modem. Interesting. Mouse pad that's actually a rug. You can actually still get that on eBay. Oh, once again, another one of these giant things. Yeah, they're great if you use them, but if you don't use them, then they're just a giant thing. Another thing, another giant thing that you have in your house. I don't understand this advertisement right here. There's a guy that happens to have a computer. What is he, selling things online? Believe in technology. Okay. Okay. You guys remember these things? I can't believe Winamp really kicks the llama's bleep. I remember using that thing back in the day. I used it for the longest time. I don't know why we ever switched to anything else. It was good stuff. Oh, yeah, voyeurism. Yeah, that's sexual assault. Mm -hmm. Man, if you, switched, uh, if you switched those two roles, you definitely couldn't do that in this day and age. But like that guy would mind. And like you would actually get a picture that nice. You would not get a picture that nice. I found really interesting. Crying for justice in Kabul and Afghanistan, revolutionary women have taken to the interwebs in order, or taken to the web in order to combat government oppression. Man, look at how dirty those hijabs are. Those must be seriously poor girls. I feel really bad for them. It's like, ugh, that's, that's really gross. That's really gross. Anyways, they have their own website. And the website is still up and it's updated today. So these are ladies that come around, uh, I believe it said Afghanistan. Yeah, Afghanistan. And they actually fought the Al-Qaeda before Al-Qaeda was a big thing in USA. I never even heard about Al-Qaeda until 9-11, let's face it. And these are people, uh, R-A-W-A, who are fighting Al-Qaeda, and they actually have an Amazon wish list. The interesting thing about the Amazon wish list is it's not full of anything uh, that's remotely viable for me. They want uh, electronic equipment for video recording, audio recording, and I'm sure they have good reasons for that, and I'd love to hear them, but I can't afford that, ladies. But, man, if I could put, like, $50 to get a, a good hijab for one of these ladies, I would definitely do that. I gotta say, these ladies were, were fighting, uh, fighting in Afghanistan, fighting oh, long before, long before we knew anything about them. Anyways... I'm pretty sure that's actually blocking hate. Yeah, we've been blocking hate on the internet for a long time, haven't we, ladies? The Onion. I didn't even know The Onion was around back then. Of course, MP3s. This is the time of the MP3 when the MP3 was taking down the um, alternate data. Alternate information before catfishing was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, from back in the day when uh, the CDs was about 20 bucks each. Oh, I'm almost 30 bucks Canadian. FaceTime with Cindy Lawford. Mm -mm, she's not as young as she used to be. But I'm pretty sure that's about it for this one. Anyways, that's it for me. Not from that stack, but it's like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Always appreciate it and have a good one, folks. Mm, that's what I'm talking about.